Okay, we're going to go ahead and take questions on the front row for our student athlete. Gary Bedore, Casey Starr. Jalen, uh, Coach Blakeney of Howard said he worked with you at the Combine and really loves your game. Do you remember working with him and what do you remember about that? And I have a follow up. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Uh, that was the one good thing about the Combine. I was able to work with a lot of different people and coaches and, uh, you know, well respected man. You know, I appreciate everything that we was able to encounter at the Combine and uh, it was great. Uh, how anxious are you to play a team outside the Big 12? I know you've been in the grind of the Big 12 forever, just playing somebody else. Yeah, you know, the Big 12 like, was the, the hardest conference in the country this year, was well, the best conference, best conference in the country. So, really, I'm, ha I'm happy to get to play someone different, get to see something new. So, we just got to be ready to play. You have a question on the right side? Okay, we go up to the front row here on the left side, on the aisle. Hey, guys, Scott Reese, KCTV5. Um, and I'll have a follow-up as well. Jalen, I know you guys have talked about the pressure to repeat, uh, but I'm just wondering you know, if you guys appreciate how difficult it is, not only to repeat, but to lose 70% of your production from last year and to do what you guys have done and be in that position again. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a blessing to be back here as a, as a number one seed. And uh, you know, I don't think anyone really is looking at it as you know, us repeat. I think it's just us going to, uh, to win it again as, as far as this is for something for us. And... Uh, you know, to, to do that, it's going to take us winning two games at a time each weekend and uh, understanding every game is going to be a battle, no matter who we're playing. And uh, just appreciate the moment that we're in. You know, it doesn't come too too often that you're a number one seed. So it's it's great to be in this position again and uh, have the opportunity right in front of us to go do it. How does the experience that you guys went through last year, how does that sort of raise the bar for your expectations and you knowing what that feels like to cut down the nets? You know, last year we was an older team, so we we had a lot of vets, so it was much easier. So uh, we was more together than we than we was this year because, you know, we was more we was vets and stuff. But this year, you know, Jay Will, he's one of the best players in the country. He's leading us, so we just following behind him. You know, it's going to be his last year here, so we just want to try to do our best for him. Going back right side, Eric Olson, Associated Press. Thanks, Mike. I don't have to identify myself now. Uh, Jalen, I uh, wanted to ask you about Coach Self. Uh, I guess how's, how's he looking here uh, since he's come back uh, to, to rejoin the team after his procedure? Uh, he's looking great, feeling great. Uh, we were able to talk to him today at practice, and, uh, you know, he's, he's excited. We're all excited, and uh, it's great to – have him back on the court with us, able, for him able to coach us, and uh, you know, start off tomorrow with a bang. Question on the left side. Hi guys, David Lawrence, Jayhawk Radio. Uh, Juan, their point guard, Elijah Hawkins, 47% shooter from the three. Uh, all conference player, just talk about that challenge of uh, taking on such a good three-point shooter? Uh, I know he does a lot for his team. You know, he gets in the lane, he shoots it. You know, I think their whole team shoots a lot of threes. I think they got like three or four guys that shot over 100 threes. So I think tomorrow we got to guard the uh, three-point line and just be ready to come out and play with a lot of energy. Other questions for our student athletes here? Front row. Nick Springer, Rock Talk Sports Talk. I just wonder, after winning the title last year, do you guys feel more or less pressure coming into the tournament this year? How do you think that's, that run last year helps you coming into this year? Uh, I don't feel any pressure at all. Um, you know, that's the beauty of this tournament is that it's really just one game, a lot of one-game tournaments. This is win or go home. And uh, I just embrace having fun. You know, this is the best time of the year for basketball. Uh, even when I was a kid watching, uh, this is the best time of the year. Just just to experience everything, see see all the basketball. Because um, I'm not only getting to play, but able to watch a lot of good basketball. So uh, I don't feel any pressure at all. You know, I think we're just here to, to do what we know how to do, play our basketball and, and have fun. Yeah, basically what Jay Will said, just coming in and play our best basketball, staying together, staying locked in, you know, having coaches back and then – you got to keep winning. We got to win, and then hopefully we can make another great run. Front row on the aisle. Yeah, hey guys, I'm just wondering with Coach Self still not quite ready, obviously, to do media here, and you know certainly from our vantage point, the uncertainty. I'm just wondering what's it been like for you guys the last couple of weeks. I know how important he is to you, how much you know important he is to the program. What's it been like for you with sort of the uncertainty of coach's role as we head into this tournament? 
Oh, well, we know Coach's role. He'll be coaching. Uh, you know, he's doing everything that, that he's uh, been doing. Uh, he was down for a while for the Big 12 tournament, but he's back. He's energized and excited, um, you know, and, and, and ready to get this going again. And, you know, we're super excited to have him back. So so we know we'll have him. Got time for one more question here on the left side. Good. And then we'll go take your question up front row, and that'll be it. Guys, probably two weeks ago, I mean, we were on a seven-game run of wins. Uh, a couple losses to Texas, and now a lot of people are – picking us to get upset early in the tournament. Does that provide an extra edge that there are some doubters out there? Just from both of you. Uh, no, nah, doubters is, is always a part of this tournament. I remember last year going to the Final Four, they gave us the worst percentage or at least to, to win it win it all, and we ended up winning. So, you know, all those people who make percentages are, are people who are not on the court with us. You know, we control what we can, can control. and you know, and how hard we play and how together we are. And, you know, we could care less about what someone thinks that we're going to do. You know, uh, upsets happen every single year, so I'm not saying it can't happen to anyone. But, you know, we're confident what we can do, and we don't really look to, to percentages and what people have us, you know. Uh, yeah, we don't really think about no doubters. You know, we see a lot of stuff, but, you know, we just play our game and stay true to what we are, you know. You know, Kansas, you know, we get a lot of hate sometimes, so, you know, People going to try to be on the downside of us. So, but we just got to stay together and stay, stay to who we are. Final question in the front row. Uh, Maddie Hartley, University of Daily, Kansas. Jalen, knowing this is your last run in the tournament, are you just kind of taking it all in? For sure, for sure. I've been uh, having fun with it all year. And to, to be at this point, you know, number one seed in, in a great position and, and the best time to play basketball is, is exciting. And, uh, you know, I just want to embrace it all game by game and, and, and just, you know, soak it all in. So it's going to be fun. Thank you, guys. Best of luck. Thank We have with us uh, assistant coach Norm Roberts, the Kansas University Jayhawks defending national champs. We'll play Howard at 1 o'clock tomorrow. 27-7 record, Big, Ten, Big 12 conference to regular season champs. We've had the tournament here in Des Moines three times, and Kansas has been the top seed three times. So welcome back to Des Moines, coach. Well, we love coming here. Uh, Des Moines has been very good to us, and we know all the best places to eat. So it's been good. This time we'll take uh, questions. Please raise your hand. We have a microphone holder. Front row, left side. Hey, Coach. Scott Reese, KCTV5. Um, Two-part question. First, as a guy who's been around and doing this as long as you have, maybe just some perspective on how difficult it is to defend a national title. Well, it, it is difficult. But, but, you know, the tough thing is that when you're at Kansas – I shouldn't say the tough thing. The good thing is when you're at Kansas, you're always getting everybody's best shot every single time you play. So it's just added on to us being national champions and, and those things. And we haven't really talked about that a ton. Uh, uh, we, what we've talked about is staying in the moment and, and playing for now. This is a different team. What, a, what we accomplished last year was fantastic. We enjoy it. Um, we're honored by it. But uh, we also understand it's a whole new whole new situation if you'll indulge me one more kind of big picture uh how how has it been so i don't want to say seamless but you lose 70 percent of your production from a national title team and yet here you are number one seed that's not easy to do how has this group been able to kind of pick up where you left off and, and make it look seamless well it's not seamless but i would say you know our model at our place is uh faces change expectations don't and our guys understand that. 
uh, you know, and the one thing that we have is, you know, we have a great coach, and he utilizes his team in the best way, and he figures out a way that's going to be best for that particular group. We played a certain way last year um, that was very good for that team. And this year we had to tweak things and play a little bit differently. And, and Coach Self is never afraid to do anything like that. And our guys have really responded. We're going to stay on the left side. Go ahead. Hey, Norm. David Lawrence, Jayhawk Radio. Uh, just talk about finally getting out of the conference and playing someone else. And, uh, and a rundown of Coach Blakeney's team. Obviously, they like to get out and run and shoot threes. And do they remind you of any conference team? I don't know if they remind you of any conference team, but but the one thing they are is they're very, very long. They're very long. They've got a lot of size on the perimeter, uh, six, nine settles, you know, you know, so they're big. And we've had to deal with that all season. They have an unbelievable point guard in Hawkins who can really – he can shoot. He shoots 47% from the three, but he's an unbelievable quarterback, very similar to Juan. He gets the ball to the guys in the right position. Uh, Dockery is a tremendous shooter for them. Settles, you know, made second team all conference. Elijah, first team all conference. So you're playing against a champion. You're playing against a team that knows how to win. You're playing against a team that's older and, uh, and battle tested. So we know we're going to get their best shot. And, you know, Coach Blankney has done a great job, a great job with that program. And, and uh, they're, they're playing really well right now. Front row. Gary Bedard, Casey Star. Coach, uh, what's the condition of Coach Self, and do you expect he'll coach tomorrow, and how is he today? And I have a follow-up. He, he's doing well today. He was at practice today. He was at practice last night in all of our meetings. Uh, he's doing well. He's getting better all the time. Uh, we're hopeful, and uh, everything is day-to-day -day with him. But he, he – uh, if you ask our guys, he got after him pretty good today. So he was he was doing really well. And what about Grady Dick and uh, Kevin McCullers' physical condition updates? Oh, both guys practiced full speed today and, and had great bounce to them. So they're both doing well. Stay on the left side on the aisle. Nick Springer, Rock Chalk Sports Talk. Coach, how much do you think Big 12 conference play has helped prepare your team for making a deep tournament run this year? Well, in the Big 12, you're going to play against all styles. You'll play against zone. You'll play against man. You'll play against physicality. You'll play against speed. You'll play against size. You know, so you're going to get the gamut of everything. So hopefully that has prepared us uh, uh, for the tournament. You know, uh, it's one of those things that in our league, you know, it was a battle every single night, no matter where you were, home or away, and hopefully that will help us in the tournament. Question in the back corner, and then we're – Move up there. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Eric, Eric Olson with the Associated Press. I just wanted to follow up on, on Coach Self. Um, it was his absence today from the media stuff. Is that just because he's just recuperating and tired, or, or could you just kind of talk about that? Oh, he's getting his rest. He's getting his rest and, and that stuff. So um, maybe he thinks that I talk too much, so he's letting me talk more. So, uh, But he's just back getting some rest right now. He's doing good, though. I know Will Kennedy with the Des Moines Register. Um, Joseph obviously played in Des Moines for a little bit, played at Drake. When, I don't want you to speak for Coach Self, but when he entered the transfer portal, what did you guys as a staff see in him to make him want to come to Kansas? Well, we saw explosiveness, scoring ability. You know, obviously that dunk he had was, was the big show at, of uh, the NCAA tournament that year. And, and uh, Joe, Joe has done good for us. He has done good for us. He, he supplies a spark off the bench, both offensively and defensively. Other questions? We have about four minutes left here. Left side, back row. Dan Lucero, WWW Topeka. Obviously, last year you guys went into the NCAA tournament on the high of having won the Big 12 tournament, used that momentum to win the national championship. This year you come in having lost in the Big 12 championship game. How can you use that, the lessons from that defeat, as a positive and, and kind of spin that as a positive way to go in the tournament, having learned lessons from loss in that way? Well, well, you can do a lot by learning from sometimes failure or a lack of success. And, and uh, you know, we realized there were some things that we did in those games or in that game particularly um, that we need to get better at. And we didn't defend. We didn't play. We, we had 
we had really played well defensively the first two games. And, and the uh, last game, we did not come out with that mindset. And if you don't come out with that mindset against a good team and a talented team as, as Texas is, you're going to put yourself behind the eight ball. And we did. And, and then as the game went on, I thought we got a little fatigued. And, uh, and then we made some ill-advised mistakes at the end of the shot clock, and they took advantage of it. So give them a lot of credit with what they did. But uh, we've already been able to watch film, look at that, and say, hey, this is where we got to get better. Any other questions out there for Coach Roberts? In the back row. Brendan Dorzinski, WIBW Topeka. You mentioned Kevin's feeling better going into this week. How important is it specifically on the defensive end to get him back as soon as possible? It's huge. It's huge. Well, you're talking about one of the best defensive players in the country in Kevin McCullers. I mean, he can guard a point guard or he can guard a center. Doesn't matter. And, and the other thing that Kevin does for us is he does so many little things as far as offensive rebounding, uh, defensive rebounding, and then he's an extremely good cutter in our offense. So we missed him quite a bit in that game, uh, but we knew he would be out because you got to go for the long haul and, and that stuff. But he was back today, and, and uh, he was doing really well. Time for one more question out there. Anybody? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank Best you. Of luck tomorrow. Appreciate it.